was born in Seattle, Washington. Uh, I remember growing up after World War II, and that world is very different than the world we live in today. Came to Cal in 1961. I wanted to uh, play football and go to the Olympics. For me, it was all about how fast I was and how strong and athletic. That was my whole world. That was my whole identity. Uh, my sophomore year, I got injured, went into a major identity crisis because I could no longer compete since speed was really the main thing that I had. And uh, when the civil rights movement emerged there in the 60s, and I was in the middle of the revolution, eventually became a Marxist. The formation of the new left, marching, recruiting for the Freedom Riders in 1964 and sprawl all the city. Intellectually awakened during that time, dove into political theory, macroeconomics. I got through uh, school, barely. Uh, we felt like we were traitors in some ways to be a part of the institution. Tune in, turn on, and drop out was very real to me. Disillusioned with Western philosophy, went into Eastern religion, ended up in Zen Buddhism. I wasn't interested in Christianity at all. I thought Christians were nowhere, but Jesus made me. And then in December 1967, I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. I was not looking for him, but he ran me down, and that changed everything. When you look into his eyes, and I really had the unbelievable privilege of doing that, you see why he compelled and what was compelling about him to change the world. So then the, the adventure really began, and I was asked to do a Bible study and discovered, you know what, I really like teaching. I had no idea that I would do that. That little Bible study grew into a church, and that grew into a network of churches. Out of that came biblical studies on public policy and economics and business that were trying to bring change to the United States, uh, the pro-life movement, uh, got involved in Washington, D.C., got involved in building coalitions there, got involved in bringing city transformation through what we called city action councils. Early 90s, got involved in starting a worldview school. Then we started the School of Business and Biblical Economics, again emerging for the message of the kingdom, a message of radical Christianity, a Christianity that was really concerned about loving people and making the difference, recognizing that if you're going to disciple nations, you're not just saving people, but you're getting involved in giving them a worldview that brings change to public policy, injecting principle-based ideas, biblical ideas, and beginning to see what a kingdom view would do to change nations. And now, many, many years later, I'm three and a half million miles from running around the world, preaching the gospel, trying to find men and women who saw the kingdom of God, trying to find men and women that want to change, but we're not interested in just going to heaven, but really care about how do we change this world? How do we manifest the kingdom of God in our lives? As I've watched a generation totally change this culture, I've watched a flat world emerge through technology. I've watched the kingdom of God's message now begin to reach millions when in the beginning our meetings could have been held in a phone booth but now there's millions of people that are coming alive. And the thing that I want to say to everybody more than anything else, it's about Jesus, Jesus Christ, to bring transformation to a very screwed up world that desperately needs Jesus and desperately needs committed, mobilized Christians.